Hey guys, it's Mac here from Cryptstar. Today, I want to show you guys how to use your Cosmos Kepler app to go on your iPhone or your, your iPad to go ahead and connect to your Nano Ledger S. This is one of the first times I've seen Bluetooth integration with Nano Ledger X for sort of an iPhone app. So I'm very excited to show you guys this video today. Before you get started, make sure you go into the Nano Ledger software on your computer and update the firmware on your Nano Ledger X. And also make sure you update the Cosmos app. That way you can make sure you have no connection issues when you're following this tutorial. Let's go ahead and head over to my Nano Ledger X on my iPhone and I'll show you guys how to go ahead and download the Kepler app and log into your Nano Ledger X. All right, you guys can see here, I have my Nano Ledger X. And I have my iPhone here on the right. Okay, let's go ahead and head over to the App Store and download the Kepler app. Go ahead and type in K-E-P-P-L-R. There you go. And hit search. And then just go ahead and download it. I've already downloaded it, so it has the little cloud symbol. But for you, it might be the first time. Let's go ahead and see it downloaded over here. Click on the link. Click on the Kepler app. Allow it to use Bluetooth. Make sure you allow Bluetooth. It's very important. Import the Nano Ledger X button. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Type in a secure password. This password will be used to delete the Nano Ledger X from your Kepler profile. So that way you can go ahead, if you want to use just the Kepler normally, you don't need to have your Nano Ledger X attached to it anymore. You can just delete it. So once you have the password down twice, make sure it's the correct in both columns. Go ahead and hit connect, pair your Nano Ledger X. And you want to make sure you open up the Cosmos app on your Nano Ledger X like I did there. Then you have to click on it again if you weren't open the first time. Yay, all done. In this case, there might be an extra confirmation you have to do on your Nano Ledger X. I didn't show that in the video because I've already done it. So if it shows up, just make sure you click over to the right and connect. Make sure you switch over to the Osmos app like I just did. And that way you can go ahead and connect to the Osmosis app. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and connect to your device. Go ahead and hit approve. This will link it to your Kepler app itself. You don't need to confirm this on the Nano Ledger X. Now let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to go ahead and trade on the Osmosis Exchange using your iOS device and your Nano Ledger X with the, using the Kepler app. Let's go ahead and refresh the page here. You can see in my wallet, I actually have about 0.2854 uh, Atom in my wallet right now. So I can go ahead and switch this or Osmo using the the step on my iPhone. So I just hit swap. It'll go ahead and open it up in my Kepler app. Then just go ahead and hit approve. And you need to make sure you approve this on your Nano X device as well. So go ahead and go all the way to the right. And go ahead and sign the transaction. And that's it. It takes about a minute for this to go ahead and reflect in your wallet balance. So just go ahead and wait a little bit and refresh the page. You can see the pending transaction at the top of the page. All right, it looks like it's successful. You should be able to see the balance in your Ledger app. However, if you don't see the balance right away, you can, you can always close the app and then reload the app or switch to another network, the Cosmos network, and then switch back to the Osmosis network. You can see now it's updated. So my Osmo is 17.66 and the transaction is complete. And you can also go back to Osmosis and you can see that now I have zero Atom in my wallet and that's it. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If there's anything else you guys want to know about how to use the Kepler app or other iOS device apps, please let me know. I want to go ahead and make some more blockchain tutorials for y'all so y'all can have the most degen life even on the road. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you like this, make sure to hit that notification bell below and the subscribe button. Also, thumbs up for the video. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Peace out. Bro, we need to pop it. Everybody, go to Twitter and hashtag the things. Pump it. You know, pump it real good. We need the good pump. Everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump.